The French engine manufacturer Safran and Hindustan Aeronautics will soon enter into a strategic partnership to jointly manufacture a new engine with transfer of technology. That will power the 13-ton indigenous Indian multi-role helicopter, that will start replacing the Russian Mi-17 transport helicopters from 2028 onwards. As per latest media reports, Hindustan Aeronautics also plans to manufacture a medium-weight combat helicopter in the future, that will rival the American Apache helicopter currently in service with the Indian Air Force, and this new engine will power different types of medium-weight helicopters that will be built by Hindustan Aeronautics. The DRDO chief had already said, that the use of the American F-414 engine will be an interim measure for the AMCA program, until India develops a higher thrust engine with foreign assistance. The French firm Safran had offered to develop a new engine, that will be a hybrid between M88 cavalry engine with Indo-French technology. The M88-4 engine meets the criteria set by the designers of the AMCA, but this concept is more than 30 years old, which means that procuring them for 5.5 generation and 6th generation fighter program will not be a good option. The AMCA requires its new engine to have the ability to go supersonic without the use of afterburners, that will also require engine calibration to the airframe and high temperature core. The French M88-4 engine concept never went into production, and was never demonstrated to its full potential, and it does not have the same level of growth potential for future variants, and this M88-4 engine technology will be more than 45 years old when the AMCA Mark II will go into production. It's important that India invests in a new jet engine program for its AMCA stealth platform, so that the engine is adaptable to the modern propulsion technologies and remains technologically relevant for the next 40 years for future programs, in which the offer by British firm Rolls-Royce seems more promising, which has offered the development of a new core section with 20% growth potential, and India can have complete intellectual property rights over the new engine along with upgrade options. The US Air Force's Rapid Dragon program has successfully demonstrated its ability to use the Rapid Dragon palletized weapon system, to deploy guided missiles with standard airdrop techniques from C-130J aircraft, and the cruise missile successfully destroyed its target on impact. The next step in the Rapid Dragon program will be a live fire test with a cruise missile from a C-17 aircraft in 2022 and it will move from a development prototype to an operational system over the next two years. India has no conventional bomber, but it operates both the C-17 and C-130J, and this Rapid Dragon program might come as a boon to enhance its ground strike capabilities without affecting the budget. The DRDO should adopt the Rapid Dragon program into the development of an indigenous program, where similar capacities can be demonstrated using the Brahmos NG or CAPS Hunter air-launched cruise missile. The DRDO chief Dr. Sati Shreddy has inaugurated a multi-static passive coherent locating radar receiver station at the Electronics and Radar Development Establishment facility in Bengaluru. The passive radar systems can detect and track objects by processing reflections from non-cooperative sources of illumination in the environment, such as commercial radio or TV stations broadcast and communication signals, that enables the passive coherent locating radars to operate secretly. India and Taiwan have started negotiations for a free trade agreement, and establishing a semiconductor manufacturing facility in India. The Indian government has already proposed a number of sites for the facility, and one of Taiwan's leading semiconductor producers, Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company and the United Microelectronics Corporation might implement the mega project. The Indian government is in the process of setting up a unified national level cyber security task force by March 2022, with a special focus on the risks emanating from the telecom sector. 
The government is also finalizing a trusted sources list for procuring telecom gear, as the country moves towards 5G technology and other sophisticated telecom and immersive technologies. Oh, my God.